I got a stack of records here, a stack of records there. I got records scattered all over everywhere, but I'm looking for one that I can't find. The one where the guitar plays so fine. All right, welcome to I Like Records Road Trip Edition. Today I'm super excited because I get to stop at my favorite record store in the whole world, Canesville Collectibles in Council Bluffs, Iowa. I know that my idea of the world's greatest record store and other people's idea of the world's greatest record store are going to be wildly different. And that's fine. Everybody is free to do whatever they want, right? But uh, some people like clean, well-organized, neat record stores where they can purchase new vinyl reissues for $30 each. And that's fine. That is a legitimate business. I wholly support it. I love vinyl records. But my idea of the, the perfect record store, and I'm going to the perfect record store, mind you, Canesville Collectibles. My idea of the perfect record store is a place that is stuffed beyond belief. Records piled to the ceiling in a highly unorganized manner, like a like just a like something you would dream about. Just stuff piled everywhere. And Canesville Collectibles is in an old warehouse building. They have three stories of records. The, the, the ground floor, you know, the street level is the only one that he keeps heated and air-conditioned. And then the basement is full of 78s. This place has more records than any place I can think of. And I just love to go in there and get lost. Oh, man. I am reeling with anticipation. This is it. It's a little bit of heaven right here in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Canesville Collectibles. Oh man. Everything about this place is awesome. This is it. Are you ready? Here we go. This is the greatest record store on the planet. Oh man, I'm gonna do some heavy digging here. It's always a good sign when you have to move 50 pounds of records just to get to the record racks underneath them. keeps the uh, riffraff out. Oh man, I love this place. How are you? I have to confess, I have a fantasy whenever I'm up here in one of these upper rooms at Canesville Collectibles. I just want to take off all my clothes and just take a big bath in records.
There's a room full of 45s back here I've never been able to actually get into. I mean, you can, but it's uncomfortable. Everywhere you look. Okay, every other record store in the world, take note. All right. That's how you do it. All 78s. And ten there. Consider that blocks or just doesn't matter. I've been asked, what do I look for when I go to a record store? Well, let me tell you, I enjoy cheap thrills because I find that I get as much satisfaction or enjoyment out of finding some really weird, obscure record for a dollar or two dollars than I do paying for some mint condition. Thing that's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I just, I don't get a thrill out of that. So mostly when I come to Canesville Collectibles, I look for weird old country records, singles and albums and things like that. And uh, I think I'm gonna end this episode of I Like Records by playing you a really, really weird country 45 I found here. Okay, here we go. Hog Wild by Country Bull. Crazy old boar had the cute little sow. They was dancing in the pen, and I don't know how. That darned old boar, he did the strangest thing. He throwed back his head and he began to sing. He said that you don't love me anymore. He said that I've become an awful boar. What was it cause your head to get so big? Maybe you think that you
show the perfect thing. Now, baby, could I be mistaken? Or have you and someone else been making bacon? Thank you, Tim, for having the greatest record store in the whole world. All right. Every time I come here, it's it's like I've died and gone to heaven. Oh, I appreciate that. Thanks, Deke. <laughs> With a hook a book camp and a cold cut square. He got full big pants and peroxide. Hey, he did the bebop boogie. Bebop boogie. The hook a book and jive. Hook a book and jive. The Mexican shuffle. The jib a book dip and ride. With a fly front coat of one button stop. With a collar that spreads and the winds are not. It does the bebop again. Okay. Bebop.